in our last session we derived a formula for uh, z per unit okay what was that formula z per unit equal to z into mva base by kv base square okay means same transformer formula but into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 one thing and second thing is it can be used for either for single phase or three phase if it is three phase this is going to be three phase power and this is going to be line voltage if it is single phase it is going to be single phase this is going to be single phase okay per phase okay anyway point here is like you know there are some cases for example as of now two transformers are operating in parallel okay which are serving the door load demand which are meeting the demand for example if demand exceeds the installed capacity of the transformer what we have to do we have to take one more transformer connect in parallel then what is the net kva capacity is going to be increased for example for example yeah, as of now my designed uh, transmission line can be there that transmission line might have been worked or might have been designed for 220 kv but as of now it might be working at 110 kv so means design is over for 220 kv but as of now we may like you know work it at 110 kv in future we may have to change from 110 kv to 220 kv under that conditions voltage base is going to be changed or not yes okay so one thing let me tell you va base or mva base for whole system is going to be one what about v base voltage base like you know on lv side lv side voltage base will come and hv side hv side voltage base will come okay so there are every there are every possibilities that like you know uh, we have to change maybe voltage basis or if parallel operation is included okay for example base load plant might be there okay plants might be operating now for that if i add peak load plants what is the net kva can be increased okay so mva base may have to be changed so if you change mva base very simple okay for example z per unit nu is going to be z per unit volt into u actually z in ohms will be same z per unit may change but z in ohms will be same no okay so for example how much is z z per unit volt into kv base square volt divided by mv base volt is going to be z now you please take that z you please convert into new basis so that particular z into mv base nu divided by kv base square nu that's it okay so z per unit volt into kv base square volt kv base square volt divided by mv base volt what is this is going to be z okay is going to be z now that particular z you please convert into new basis so that is going to be mva base z value z value into mva base new divided by kv base square new problem solved okay actually based upon this immediately after this we are going to solve problems also but anyway let us think of single line diagram in our previous video we discussed about single line diagram how to draw and all let us connect everything for example if i have generator okay for that if i have immediately the transformer okay lv to hv after that this is going to be transmission line after that i may have again step up okay and after that transmission line after that i can do step down after that load can be there load can be there that load is going to be for example one synchronous motor is there motor okay and after that let me have one induction motor induction motor is there okay so this is going to be transmission line one transmission line two okay so this is going to be generated now how to draw a single line diagram for this let us see okay so for generator eg generated voltage will be there in line with synchronous reactance will be there so for this it is going to be single line diagram eg and this is going to be excess of generator xg okay after that like you know this is the bus 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 okay so after that what is happening transformer transformer like you know reactance has to be modeled we discussed previously in our previous session only so this is going to be transformer one transformer one transformer two transformer three 
okay so after that transmission line resistance and reactance so transmission line resistance reactance so t1 resistance reactance okay so after that my transformer so this is going to be transformer 2 reactance after that transmission line okay so this is going to be transmission line t2 so t2 resistance reactance and after that transformer so transformer basically what is the advantage of per unit quantities transformers can be eliminated on paper not in practice okay so after t2 this is going to be transformer 3 okay after that synchronous motor is there so synchronous motor excess of the motor will be there or xm and along with that voltage will be there because it can drive fault current okay now if you think of induction motor induction motor only xm will be there okay so this is going to be single line diagram for this okay now depending upon this we are going to solve problems now let us take some problems on per unit quantities if we think of this problem what is per unit reactance of an alternator if capacity is doubled and voltage is half okay so what is z per unit z per unit equal to z into mva base by kv base square okay directly z per unit is directly proportional to capacity inversely proportional to base voltage square so for example directly proportional mva base so capacity is double so reactant should be double per unit reactant should be double because it is directly proportional and if you think of voltage is half half square inversely proportional half square is going to be eight times so this is going to be eight times okay let me repeat again very simple z per unit is directly proportional to mva base mva base is double so z per unit has to be double and voltage is reduced by half so inversely proportional to voltage base square voltage is reduced to half inversely proportional half square is going to be four times four into two is going to be eight that's it now let us think of here the per unit impedance of a synchronous machine is 0.240 if the base voltage is increased by 1.1 times then per unit impedance value will be so here va base is not there okay let me write the equation z per unit equal to z into mva base by kv base square okay so did they uh, did they give any information about mva so forget about it now z per unit is inversely proportional to voltage by square so voltage is increased it means that z per unit should be reduced so new z per unit equal to 1 by 1.1 square is going to be reduction okay into 0.242 is going to be 0.2 per unit it's done okay now let us think of in this case two identical generators of 100 mva 33 kv this are connected in parallel as shown they are interconnected through reactor false occur said f1 and f2 at two different locations the ratio of equivalent fault reactants at f1 and f2 will be actually one thing i have to tell you here okay in our network theory network theory we know how to calculate thevenin's equivalent okay so how to find thevenin's equivalent if you have ideal sources okay so I, whenever you have ideal sources voltage source can be replaced with short circuit and current sources can be replaced with open circuit okay so these are going to be voltage sources voltage sources so try to find thevenin's equivalent across those two terminals problem is solved okay so for example if fault occurs here if fault occurs here okay then what will happen short circuit short circuit these two are connected in parallel okay so 0.2 plus 0.1 Point 0.3, point 0.2 plus point 0.1, point 0.3, these two are connected in parallel, Thevenin's equivalent is going to be 0.15. Okay, point 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3 divided by 2 is going to be 0.15, this is going to be F1. Get Thevenin. Now let us think of Thevenin's equivalent across this. Okay, under this condition, what will happen? Forget about this, okay? Point 0.2, point 0.2, point 0.1, point 0.5, and it is going to be point 0.1. So, what is Z Thevenin here in the second case, in F2 case, is going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. So, 0 0.5 into 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.6. Okay. So, this divided by this. The ratio of equivalent fault reactance at F1 with respect to F2. So, F1 divided by F2, you can calculate. That's it. 
example let us take uh, old gate questions this question is given for two marks and this question is given for one mark but actually in period unit quantity it is very easy to solve the questions okay for example in this question for the power system shown the specifications of the components are following g125 kv for example we have to focus here here g125 kv 100 mva 9 percent g2 25 kv 100 mva 9 percent and t1 25 kv input voltage output voltage is 220 and t2 input is 220 output is 25 okay and line is going to be 200 kv x equal to 150 ohms the moment x is given in ohms i need not consider this 200 kv because there is nothing like base value and all directly magnitude of impedance is given so these are necessary data okay coming to the point choose 25 kv as base voltage choose 25 kv as base voltage in the sense this side this side 25 kv means that base voltage at the generator g1 and 200 mva as the mva base so at the generator side 25 kv means that my base value of voltage here is 25 kv means that after transformer 25 kv by 220 kv so here it is going to be 220 kv as the base value and here it is 220 kv only and 220 kv by 25 kv so here it is going to be 25 kv as the base value okay now mva base is changed okay so basically for generator 1 and 2 100 mva is the base voltage sorry base uh, capacity now it has to be changed to 200 for example let us write z per unit equal to z into va base or mva base by kv base square okay so in for example in g1 and g2 in g1 and g2 same 25 kv as the base voltage so i need not bother about this now z per unit directly proportional to mva and mva here is 100 mva but to be referred to 200 mva so it should be doubled okay directly proportional to mva so z per unit nu z per unit nu is going to be volt is going to be 9 percent now it should be 18 percent so for this it is going to be generator 1 is going to be 0.18 okay now what about generator 2 generator 2 is also same as 25 kv 100 mva 9 percent so remaining like you know we have to refer to same 25 kv only so voltages need not be bothered okay so z per unit for this generator also 9 percent will become 18 percent because mva capacity is double so for g2 also is going to be same so this is going to be 0.18 okay now let us think of transformer one and <coughs> transformer one and transformer two they have given 12 percent okay so see here here this is 25 kv here means that it is 220 kv here 220 kv here <coughs> means that 25 kv here okay so in transformer voltage basis are same only or not yes so my x is going to be 18 percent sorry 12 percent so in this case either t1 or t2 is going to be 0.12 into directly proportional mva this is given 90 mva but it has to be referred to 200 mva directly proportional mva so x value should be increased or decreased it should be increased because mva is increased it is directly proportional mva so into 200 divided by 90 okay so that is going to be 0 0.2667 okay now what about transmission line we have to calculate now let us calculate for transmission line z per unit equal to z is how much 150 ohms okay so this is going to be 150 into mva base by kv base square what is mva base is going to be 200 divided by v base square what is v base square this is transmission line is on 220 kv side okay basically in per unit quantities like you know transformer primary secondary lv or hv will be there lv said lv will be the base voltage hv said hv will be the base voltage so what is this hv 220 kv so this is going to be 220 square 220 square okay so it is going to be 0.62 this is going to be 0.62 so what is the single line equivalent single line diagram is going to be my generator for generator generator reactance and after that transformer reactance after that 
ट्रांसमिशलाइन रिएक्टेंस आफ्टर दैट ट्रांसफॉर्मर रिएक्टेंस एंड आफ्टर दैट जनरेट रिएक्टेंस अगेन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ई जी वन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ई जी टू एंड हियर आई गॉट पॉइंट वन एट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पॉइंट वन एट सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी पॉइंट वन एट एंड द ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी गॉट पॉइंट टू सिक्स सिक्स सेवन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पॉइंट टू सिक्स सेवन एंड पॉइंट टू सिक्स सेवन एंड इन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन हाउ मच पॉइंट सिक्स टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू दैट्स एट टू मार्क्स ओके नाउ लेट एस सी द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इन द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ए थ्री फेज स्टार कनेक्टेड लोड इज ड्राइंग ए पावर एट वोल्टेज ऑफ पॉइंट नाइन पर यूनिट एंड एट पॉइंट एट पावर फैक्टर लैक द थ्री फेज बेस पावर एंड बेस करेंट आर गिवेन सो थ्री फेज बेस पावर एंड बेस करेंट आर गिवेन ओके द लाइन टू लाइन लोड वोल्टेज इन के वी इज इन दिस लाइक नो लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट इज स्टार कनेक्टेड ओके सो इफ दे से पॉइंट नाइन पर यूनिट पॉइंट नाइन पर यूनिट लाइन वोल्टेज और फेज वोल्टेज एवरीवेयर इट्स गोइंग टू पॉइंट नाइन पर यूनिट ओनली फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल इफ इट इज इलेवन के वी ओके सो इफ इलेवन के वी इज टेकन एज बेस वैल्यू इट विल बिकम ऑन पर यूनिट नाउ वेन इट इज लाइन टू लाइन इज इलेवन के वी हाउ मच इज दिस वोल्टेज इलेवन के वी रूट थ्री so when it is rated voltage of 11 kv it is going to be rated voltage of 11 kv by root 3 only so when this is one per unit this is also will become one per unit okay for example line voltage is 90% of rated means that phase voltage also 90% of it's rated okay so if it is 0.9 per unit it is going to be 0.9 per unit okay now we have to calculate voltage base if i calculate voltage base voltage base multiplied by uh, what do you say per unit is going to become actual value because what is like you know per unit quantity per unit of any value is going to be actual divided by base okay so what is actual is going to per unit into base now let me calculate voltage base or kv base okay so kv base is going to be how much root 3 vlil very simple okay line voltage or phase voltage anything can be calculated root so root 3 vlil so for example this is going to be line voltage <laughs> line voltage of base voltage okay is going to be what is total mva 100 100 mva divided by root 3 into i base this derivation already we have done okay so voltage base is going to be mva by for three phase mva by root 3 into what do you say current because root 3 into vl into il is going to be 100 mva so this is going to be 132 kv because three phase power equal to root 3 into vl into il okay so for example if you think of like you know what is the present line to line voltage line to line voltage is going to be 90% of rated or 90% of base value so what is actual value the actual value equal to 132 into 0.9 the actual value equal to base value into this so is going to be 118 kv that's it